We've had reason to come over into Owen County today and drive along where the Kentucky River is, so wanted to do the scripture video for Romans chapter seven, where we had some beautiful scenery. So here we are overlooking the mighty cane tuck and the land across the way over there is Henry County and I'm sitting in Owen County, but haven't done one of these videos in a minute because we've had some breaks in the action from Romans, both on Wednesday nights and from Sunday mornings for this or that. But now we're in Romans chapter seven. I'll be preaching from the end of that chapter tomorrow morning at the chapel, and then Wednesday night, this coming week, we'll talk about the whole chapter together. So the scripture verses I have right now are verses 14 through 20. This is Romans chapter seven, and I'm still in the New American Standard Bible that I have wanted to take a closer look at. And it's a very word for word translation. So here we go. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am of flesh sold into bondage to sin. For what I'm doing, I do not understand. For I'm not practicing what I would like to do, but I'm doing the very thing I hate. But if I do the very thing I do not want to do, I agree with the law, confessing that the law is good. So now, no longer am I the one doing it, but sin which dwells in me. For I know that nothing good dwells in me, that is, in my flesh. For the willing is present in me, but the doing of the good is not. For the good that I want, I do not do. But I practice the very evil that I do not want. But if I am doing the very thing I do not want, I am no longer the one doing it, but sin which dwells in me. And what a concept. This is the Apostle Paul speaking very frankly about how sin has taken over his life, or he's been made aware of how sin has taken over his life as well as all of us as humans. And he's come to the realization now as uh, living under the yoke of Christ that He's a sinful man, and he doesn't want to live in sin, but he does. And the things that he knows are right and that he wants to do, he does not do. And what a dilemma we have in that. And if we as Christians, men and women, boys and girls, do not make that acknowledgement, but say, oh, yes, I go to church, I do not sin, I, I don't do those things, and come on. Give me a break. It's not true, and it's not about that either. It's because we are saved by grace through faith. Jesus is the only one who has lived or ever will live in a sinless manner, and therefore his sacrifice for us as a sinful man, as God in flesh, has taken care of our salvation. If we think that we can behave our way into heaven or um, turn over a new leaf and therefore go to heaven by that, through our actions, no. Through our works, no through our service in a church, no. Those things are all great to change our behavior, to turn over a new leaf, to work or serve in a church as brothers and sisters in Christ, the priesthood of all believers, but that's not what's gonna save us. We're saved by the blood of the lamb. Come be with us. Our church is growing and uh, this is the holiday season. This is the time that people need to be getting into worship. You know, you might be coming to church here and there, but at the holidays, you might ramp it up a bit. Well, let's ramp it up and stay ramped up. We've had new members come forward in our church the last few weeks, and it's been a joyful thing. And come be part of that. And if you're watching online and you don't have a church home, try ours out. And if you're watching at home and you are someone who can't get out, I want you to know that starting this Wednesday evening for our Romans 7 Bible study, we'll have an online option through Zoom. So I'll be sending out a link to those that would like to be part of that, that are part of our church family that just can't get out or can't get out at night, can't drive, things like that. So that's a good thing that we're adding. It's taken long enough for that idea to come up, way too long, right? But most of all, we want folks to gather in the chapel and the fellowship hall with the church. There's something about being there together um, that's, just, that's just more. So 
be part of it and be with us tomorrow morning. We're going to be decorating the church after worship. We have our choir practice at 10, worship at 11, and then the hanging of the greens right after. So we'll see you there.